welcome to today's video in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can use a freshly brewed coffee to make a moisturizer as a matter of fact freshly brewed coffee to make an anti-aging moisturizer coffee has been used in skincare products for centuries and that is because it works on the skin by boots in circulation coffee also have to firm the skin and it also have to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and give the skin a natural glow using coffee on the skin on a regular will help to transform your skin the base to getting your skin to look amazing using coffee is to properly cleanse and steam as often as two to three times per week and then you use your moisturizer which will take the skin to the next level so if you're looking for a quick and easy recipe that you can whip up in your kitchen and guess what use it on your skin and see amazing results in a short space of time then this recipe is for you so continue watch now if you're looking for skincare products amazing natural skincare products then why not check out alexmaxi.com now take a look at this really really quick and then we're gonna jump right into today's video now that we have that out of the way let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up our first ingredient is gonna be the coffee and today I'm using freshly brewed coffee coffee will have to reduce wrinkles and fine lines it is rich in caffeine is boot circulation on the skin I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of coffee and next I'm gonna reach for some rose water rose water have to balance the natural pH levels of the skin I'm mixing the two together and then I'm gonna pour some aloe vera gel today I'm using some store-bought aloe vera gel if you have fresh aloe vera gel you can use it in this recipe so I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of the aloe vera gel so here in the bowl I have a quarter cup of coffee I have some rose water and I have some aloe vera gel and I'm gonna mix the three together and I'm gonna mix well Next, I'm reaching for a small blender. You can also choose to use a whisk for this recipe. And I'm gonna reach for some cornstarch. We're using the cornstarch for its absorbing properties. Cornstarch will help to get rid of grease on the skin, making it great for oily skin. I'm using a teaspoon of cornstarch and I'm gonna pour this in the blender next I'm gonna reach for some yogurt and yogurt contain lactic acid we're using plain unsweetened yogurt if you do not have yogurt go ahead and add a little bit of a milk or you can use a bit of a soy milk if you are vegan now once that is done I'm gonna add a little bit of our oil to this and my oil of choice is some sweet almond oil use any of your favorite oil in this recipe such as rosehip oil papaya oil grapeseed oil or even some olive oil now once this is done I'm gonna reach back for my quarter cup of coffee and I'm gonna pour this in the blender with the rest of the ingredients then I'm gonna cover I like to give my blender a shake and then I am gonna blend at this stage if you are using a whisk go ahead and use a whisk an electric whisk is best for this recipe so blend for about two to three minutes or so and then we are gonna pour and take a look at this here we have our coffee facial moisturizer this is an anti-aging moisturizer that you can use on the skin at night you apply two to three drops on the skin nightly take it on the face the neck and the dark low tie so pour a little bit in your hands and then I like to warm it up when I'm using it so I warm the remedy in my hands and then I apply it on my face in circular motion make sure to cleanse your skin before you use this on the skin because you want to get the best result from using this and you are gonna massage 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 the skin the face the neck and the decollete I like to use this at night but you can choose to use it in the daytime also this is also great for oily skin how to lift tighten and firm the skin and help to nourish and protect the skin a very easy to make recipe using a coffee and some other ingredients now store the leftovers in the refrigerator 
refrigerator and when it is done go ahead and make a new batch you can also choose to use this on your hands since it have to hydrate nourish and get rid of the wrinkles on your hands if you do not have cornstarch for this recipe go ahead and use a little bit of agar agar or you can choose to use a little tiny top of a flour instead of the cornstarch and there you have it your homemade coffee official moisturizer